58 cold resist. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I don't think we're going to have a problem with the cold anymore, people. I think we have the cold licked. Except for we don't ever want to lick, like, you know, cold metal because our tongue will get stuck on it and that hurts. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Dam and Old Guy Gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. And we plan a map that's made up almost entirely the snow biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. Welcome back. I said that already, didn't I? I keep doing that. <laughs> okay, so, um, I myself, in real life, uh, have been actually, uh, it's been about a week, maybe? Almost a week since I played last uh, on seven days because I'm also a huge uh, Imperion Galactic survival aficionado. <laughs> and so I've been playing that because they just released Alpha 12, um, you know, about a week ago. So I'm um, just trying to get my head back into the game here. I, I am planning on, of course, continuing this series too. And uh, the thing that you, you know, you guys probably may not realize is that I've actually pre recorded um, all the episodes up to this point. So I'm about a week. A week or so ahead of you guys so by the time you see this video it will probably be very close uh, to the end of June maybe even early July I'm not really sure somewhere around in there uh, because today is uh, June the 21st so anyway um, you know just so you kind of know the time and all this but anyway my plan just so you know is that I'm gonna continue this series until you know, until it's done or until, you know, Alpha 19 comes out. And then once Alpha 19 comes out, you know, even if we're not done with this series, whatever that even means, really, um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely start up with Alpha 19. So that's a plan. Um, but anyway, enough of that. So what I want to do is in the last episode, I actually had to kind of go back and watch it, <laughs> watch the end to, to see what I said to you guys. But uh, what we want to do is we want to go... Uh, our big goal right now is that we're going to move up north. But before we do that, there's a couple of things that I want to get out of the way first. So did I take the next... Okay, I, we took this tier 2 quest uh, from the trader. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's also knock out Stefan's treasure map. And if I remember correctly, I believe the trader... I keep hitting the F key because the F key is the action key in Imperion. So i got to train my fingers to go back to E now. Um... Where is my money? I'm probably... There I go again. <laughs> I probably have it in the motorcycle. Uh, but anyway, the trader has a puffer coat for sale now. And we're going to go buy that sucker. And uh, so I got I got a nice little supply of ammo replenished here. Two stacks of 7.62s, almost two tax, uh, stacks of 9s, and a full stack of shoddies. And then more on the way. This guy is making more bullets and cement of course and we're still we're still doing pretty decent on gunpowder so we've got uh you know 2000 there and then another 550 there we're kind of low on brass though so we're gonna you know as always i mean when are we not looking for brass anyways so that's almost a not even worth mentioning <laughs> and let's see i don't think we have anything going on in here because i don't have any more uh, i take that back we do have stuff that we can make more gunpowder so we might as well get that cooking up, because we're going to need it. We are going to need it. So 1244, that's going to use all of my nitrate and most of my coal. Why don't we save just a little bit of that? So how about if we make, say, 1200? You know, that way I have a little bit of nitrate, because that's used for a couple of other things like crop plots and, and making antibiotics and that sort of thing. Um, so we'll just hang on to that. Okay, don't laugh. I know, I keep hitting the F key. <laughs> um, ah, blah, 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 blah. All right, I think we're good. So yeah, let's go to the trader. I'm going to take that and sell it. Um, no, not scrap, repair. Get that puffer coat, and then we'll go do those the the treasure quest and the two uh, or the tier two quest, and then after that, we'll see where we're at. And I think you know if we start wearing that puffer coat, we might not need and to take that last are... point that I was gonna think I was thinking about taking for well insulated. So let's take a look. 
uh, clothing. Okay, so... Yeah, see, this is going to give us another plus nine cold resist. That's almost two more points in well insulated. So I don't think... Yeah, let's buy this. I don't think Time we're... to move on. Yeah, whatever. I don't think we're going to need to uh, put any more points at all into uh, well insulated with this. I mean, the duster is already not bad, but this is this is like really good. Um, and we'll, you'll, we'll hang on to our duster for, you know, for using with... Um, you know, in, when we go into the desert. Which means eventually I should probably just make another cargo thing for it so I don't have to keep switching over. But uh, Alright, so let's wear that. And if we look here now, 58 cold resist. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I don't think we're going to have a problem with the cold anymore, people. I think we have the cold licked. Except for we don't ever want to lick, like, you know, cold metal because our tongue will get stuck on it and that hurts. All right, enough screwing around with that. Let's go ahead and take a look. I want to buy that because we can make chicken tacos. Let's buy some chicken ration right now. I had fried chicken for dinner last night too. It was really good. Um, and we're gonna, do we need to eat this? Nah, let's hang on to these two things just for a little bit. This doesn't cool us down, does it? I don't think so. We'll eat those later. Are there still things in my backpack I didn't loot? Oh, you know what? There are. I did I did have to leave a couple things behind in there now that I remember. I don't think any of them were super important, but we might as well stop. Oh, I was going to sell the sledgehammer to him. I'm all scatterbrained today, you guys. Completely scatterbrained. So what else is new with, with that too, right? It's what we call old guy moments. Um... Yeah, let's sell that. Was there something else? Nope, nothing else. So, um, tier two quest and the treasure. That is what we're going to do now. So we'll put that in there and we'll put that in there. We'll hang on to these two and we'll just consume them when we need to. So let's go back down to the to the prison and just see what that other stuff it is that I left behind. I don't remember what what it is, but I do remember thinking it's not super critical because that's why we left it behind. If I do decide to um you know, use the prison again. I guess we have to go down here. We'll have to do I'll have to do some repairing here, of course. So I'll have to plan that ahead, so I'm not scrambling at the last minute, which I'm famous for doing. We barely made it in here, in fact, <laughs> uh, when the horde started. If you recall, there's probably not going to be sleepers in here right now, but uh, here we go. Okay, so Yeah, we got some iron Those would actually be nice for Desert garb But, you know, I mean, we already, we already have BDUs on, so And I think I already have Oh, no, we should keep, definitely should keep that for desert The rest of the stuff we're just gonna scrap Okay. I'll just leave that one there. Yeah, the prison's one of the few POIs that have, you know, comes with reinforced concrete. So that's what one of the reasons why it makes a really good early horde base, you know, early game horde base. So that's out of the way. Let's see here. Yeah, that's my nitrate mine, but we're okay on that stuff for now. So the buried treasure quest is is a long ass ways away. In fact, that's way up north now that I think about it. Like way up north, right here. Okay, so yeah, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go. Let's do the the tier 2 first. We'll get that out of the way and then we'll, maybe we'll go up north and we'll kind of survey the area, you know, for our new base at, while we're going after this. So that is active. 
and uh that's way down south okay not a big deal with our motorcycle though was a much much bigger deal when we, when we had to go you know down there on foot okay here we are um i'm not gonna bother double looting let's just start it and do it start it and do it fetch and clear so we got biker zombie. Oh, are you gonna be stuck in there? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's a good that's a good start to our quest here, you guys. Good start. Okay, so what's in here? That just goes out to that field there okay Are there any hogs in here that we can get for meat nope a couple of bone gut piles but no hogs what the hell what why are you why are you hitting the fence there dude rattlesnake wants to bring us a, a little bit of rattlesnake meat tastes like chicken that was what we ate in the wasteland. Pretty much almost exclusively. Well, when we got to the green biome, we were able to hunt deer and stuff, but we had lots of lots of rattle, rattlesnake meat. Um, okay, I'd like to kill that pig, but let's hold off on doing that because if I kill him now, I'm going to wake up the dead. And I'd rather not do that until we absolutely have to deal with it. So, I'm like stepping on trash and making all kinds of noise but you know I'm not too worried about it maybe I should be but I'm not um I might as well drink that okay opening up this car might make some noise nope we'll take the oil I'm gonna leave the rest of that stuff I should have left the, those clothes in our motorcycle So much noise. A little more gasoline. Oh, yeah. oh shit, we got a cop. That was a little intense. Big Mama! Okay, there's our satchel over there. Whoa, just about kicked us off to the other side. Where's that zombie at? Downstairs, maybe? Hmm. There's a lot of concrete in here. I forgot, or cement, rather. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, that Zeker's downstairs. Don't need any of that stuff. There she is. She's just not over far enough for me to shoot her very well. There she is. Headshot. She was a feral big mama. No wonder it took so many shots to kill her. All right, so we've got some more riled up seekers, and one one of the ones that we need to kill is still downstairs. So we will make sure that we take care of them before 
uh, you know, it's all said and done here. But let's continue on for the moment. There's usually some sleepies over that way. Another copper ruski. Wow. Um, let's... Yeah, let's just give him the shotgun treatment. That seemed to work last time. Maybe we'll have a little bit of help from our... our friend here, though. Anybody coming from this way? <clears throat> All right. That worked out pretty good. Are those, uh, is that a running horde or is that just a few extra Zeeks that happen to be wandering by? There's quite a few of them down there. Let's see if we can at least soften them up a little bit here. Yeah, that must be a running horde. That's a lot of Zeekers. Okay, we killed Nurse Nancy. All right, nobody else is coming from there. There's Larry. Okay, Larry's down. There's still a zombie over here that we have to kill for the quest. Oh, do, do we have to kill the pig? That seems to be indicating that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to kill that pig. I mean, we're going to anyways for the meat. Interesting. Yeah, there is a lot of cement in this place. You know, there's a, a secret stash in the silo. We should try and remember to get that, too, before we wrap things up today. This needs to be repaired. Okay, we don't need that. Well, actually, you know what? I, I want to keep the, the fat, but we don't need four things of coal. All right, there is that guy's there, and there's probably a Zeker over that way, too. So let's employ this guy again. Actually, can we put it over here? Nah, it doesn't quite want to let us do that. Okay. Okay, he's dead. And we have made it to the end loot. And we've also completed the quest. Yay us. All right, let's see what we have here. That's nice. Um, yeah, that is a really nice find, actually. I will take it. I guess I must have had an extra wood splitter mod that I put onto here. So we can scrap this guy for, for tool parts. And I'm not going to take that lead battery. There's some shammy sham. Shamity sham. Um... Those we're just going to scrap. I guess I'll grab this and sell it, but it's not hardly worth the effort now that we can do triples. Okay, we'll take that for sure. 
and that's locked so we'll have to use our lock picks on it how many of those do we have we've got uh here 29 oh yeah if we can't open this with 29 lock picks we might as well just hang it up <laughs> i've had i'll tell you what though i've had some scenarios where i've used like over 10 lock picks on a on a container it's so frustrating and I sit there and I complain about it, but I never put any points into lock picking, so I don't know. Make 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 that make of that what you will. <laughs> uh, all right, come on, game. You son of a. See, I'm complaining again. I mean, it's it's so random though, as you guys you know who play this game know. Sometimes, you know. 40, I'd say 30 to 40% of the time, I hit it right on every single time, and then 30, about maybe 20% of the time, it uses a shitload of lockpicks, and then the rest, you know, just three or four. Okay, anyway, here's what we got. So that's a 4X scope mod, which is nice, and a steel chest armor, which is 100% more durability upgrade, but it doesn't, unfortunately, give us an extra mod slot, but it's still just that much better than what we're wearing um so we'll take it of course uh this we can sell so we just need to get rid of something we don't really need that but let's just eat it anyway and this is something we could potentially get rid of too um all right so i'm gonna wear the let's just go ahead and repair it right now get that out of the way and then we're going to go here and grab this guy. Guess what? we need one more spot to work here. Take that. I wonder if we even need this now with that puffer coat. Um, because if we didn't, then we could put an armor plate mod on here. Well, let's just use it for now because I don't have an armor plate mod with me and we'll, we'll look at that later if I remember to do so which I probably won't okay good so that can be scrapped into uh, more parts which is gonna make wait is it gonna be worth more that way uh, well I guess we will never know because it just didn't finish doing it now is there something we could put this on we could put it on we don't have any slots left for this uh, and I don't really want to rem- oh, you know what we could do? We could m turn this into our sniper rifle. Um, man, yeah, why would we do that, though? Because this one has so much more power. Uh, what about this? Yeah, I guess I don't really ha have anything other than this that we could put it on, so we might as well put it on here. Okay, it, we just, we pack, you know, so much more of a punch with this one, though, as an actual sniper rifle. But we increase the, the damage on this by putting that on there, so that's good. All right, guys, well, um, we are actually running out of time as usual, but here's what I think I'm going to do. I'll meet you back at the trader, we'll do the turn-in, and then I'll meet you up by the treasure. We'll dig that up, and then we'll have to end the episode there. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Whoa, shit, don't break your leg. <laughs> oh, you know what? We need to get We need to get that secret stash too. Eh, all right. That's worthy of selling. This is worthy of scrapping. I need you to give me some money and some XP and, and something really cool. Well, I lost the bet on this one. Uh, Here's really cool. Money. I wouldn't call that really cool. <laughs> uh, but decent XP, decent money. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm not going to take another job from him uh, right now. Because uh, I want to find a trader up closer to the central city. Um, but let's take a look at your inventory. You restock on day 25. It's day 22. That would be kind of nice to have, but we're not, we're not, 
Uh, find more dukes and loot. For 900 coin? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Why not? Anything else here? I think we'll probably eventually come across that or the... You know, or actually find the, the armor itself, so I think we're good to go on that. Just taking a quick peek here to see if there's anything else. Uh, steel boots. Kind of expensive for where we're at at the moment. Okay, let's sell this. And we're just going to sell that right back to him. Uh, we're going to sell... Maybe we should hang on to those. Maybe we should hang on to those. Because we might be able to make our own armor. I, I think we actually do have the skill to do that. Uh, so we might want to do that at some point. And I think that's all I want to sell to the trader. Well, it's about time you bought something. Okay, let's read this. Okay, guys, I will meet you at the treasure location. We'll dig that sucker up, and then we got to wrap this episode up. Okay, we finally got to our location. Um, so let's park right here. And it's just right in this area. Starts here. Okay. That, uh, that took a while. The good news, though, is we got a nice little supply of clay. Uh, which we definitely will be able to use for a forge. For our forge. And I'm probably going to just put this in a chest at, at our new build site and just leave it there until we, until we actually get out there. Okay, let's see what we have. Um, very nice. Actually, yeah, that's wonderful. In pretty decent bank there, too. This is going to be worth more uh, scrapped. Okay, good. Um, so, you know, the thing is, though, is we only have one mod slot on here. This would give us a lot more gas, but then, you know, it's also going to take us longer to break stuff. So I might hang on. I might not do that. I might keep this on here and interchange it with, you know, the dirt one and all that until we find a, an auger where we can put, you know, two mods on. But anyways, guys, that is it for uh, this episode. That was a long trip, man. That was a very long trip. I'm, of course, going to, you know, either edit it completely out or time lapse it for you guys. But, oh, my gosh, uh, to get from here, uh, here, which is our base, all the way up to here on the motorcycle, pretty much going nonstop, that must have taken me at least 10 minutes, maybe even 15 in, uh, in real time. I mean, I didn't time it. It just it just seemed like it took a really long time. But anyway, the plan is, um, in the next episode, uh, I'm not sure when I will bring you back. I might just work for a while off camera and get moved over to this location. But uh, I'm going to survey this lake some more. It's not too terribly deep. Um, and my what's in my mind is to build a base right out in the middle of this lake with an underground you know, under the lake tunnel to get to it. Um, and, you know, that does pose, that does pose some problems. And I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's, if we can get, you know, overcome those problems is what I'm trying to say, or if they're going to be too much of a pain in the ass. But uh, that's what I'm thinking about now. And when I bring you back in the next episode, we will, you know, we'll be taking a, a, a harder look at that. One way or the other, I'm moving to the central city anyways, whether we, you know, put a base on this lake or not. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.